to BBC CEO and we have Barack here for Capture. Let's take a look at his profile. Hi, my name is Barak, Barak El Mahmoud. Um, I'm a photographer. I own my own company called Capture, Your Memory Bank. Um, I take pictures of uh, weddings, general events, you know, social events. Here at Capture, we, we, try to, we try to be different from other photographers. Now, people might think that photography is quite easy. Oh, right, yeah, he's a photographer. He picks up a camera, shoots, and gives us our pictures. No, we take amazing effort to get good quality pictures. I just want to give some advice to people out there. I want to say, follow your passion. Do what you love to do. And be bold. so much for joining us in the studio today. Pleasure to be here. Yes, now tell me a bit about your background. Well, um, I'm Ghanaian. Really? Born and raised here. Okay. My dad is half Lebanese, half Ghanaian, and my mom is full Lebanese. Mm -hmm. So it makes me three-quarter Lebanese and quarter Ghanaian, though I don't look like <laughs> it. <laughs> so what's your Ghanaian name? Kuchu. I was born on Monday. <laughs> That's a good one. Now, when did you start your whole photography passion? Professionally, you'd say about six months. And... Uh, um, not professionally, about six months, so let's say a total of a year. I bought my camera um, September 2009, mm -hmm. and I hadn't been shooting every day, so it was kind of like a hobby at first. Yeah. But to push further back, I've been doing graphic designing for about seven years. Okay. Yeah, so that's how, the I mean, they're both art, mm -hmm. in the category of art. So the transition to photography wasn't too difficult. However, I still am doing graphic designing. Okay. So, yeah. Now, is that what you initially started of working as, or did you have other jobs before? No, I, I was working at, um, after, after I haven't been to university, first mm -hmm. of all. Um, after finishing Achimoto School, I uh, did a short course at NIT, mm -hmm. um, programming and also um, program Adobe Photoshop, mm -hmm. along with other designing programs. From then, I, s I started working at uh, MaxMart Shopping Center as a manager for the glassware department for three, a bit over three years. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't my kind of job. I mean, cooped up in the office all day long. Then, but earning a fixed salary was comfortable. I was earning, you know, a quite okay salary. And um, I took the bold step <laughs> to. That's you did. Yeah, to to just go into the art industry yeah. and follow my passion. Yeah. So then, I had been doing graphic designing whilst working at MaxMart. But then, I left MaxMart finally, and um, photography started 
just like that. I mean, it just, it wasn't really planned. Mm -hmm. I was like, let me just get into photography as well because it's part of graphic designing. And when I did that, I found my passion for photography grew so immense mm -hmm. and I pushed it through. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people share your same um, situation of not having gone to university yet. How does, is that challenging with today's market of not having a university degree or are you just going by fun? It's not challenging um, per se, but I feel I would get more contacts and more, um, you know, international relations being in university as anyone would, yeah. you know, having studied in university. Mm -hmm. So that is the only Downside. probably difference. Yeah, but nobody would say, yo, have you been to university? When you're coming No, you this. haven't? No, don't <laughs> come and shoot this. No, they're like, they yeah. look at your work, what, what you can do, yeah. you know, you show your portfolio, like, this is beautiful. Come, come to our event, come do this, come do that. So yeah. no one has ever asked me if I've, none of my clients have ever asked me if I've been to university before. So it's really, I don't know. I, for uh, me personally, I do want to go to university. Yeah because of my own beliefs. Yeah. You know, and in Ghana there aren't any good schools for photography. Yes. My brother went to KNUST and he did he did what I'm doing. Um mm -hmm. uh what's it called? Communication design. Yeah. But um he could learn a thing or two from me. Yeah. You know, but he is good still anyway. Now when you said specifically about comfortable, being mm -hmm. comfortable in the job that you're doing, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people share that as well, where you're working and you know you're so comfortable because you're getting that paycheck back to back. Mm -hmm. When was the deciding factor for you when you said, you know what, no, I'm going to stop, I want to follow my dream, my passion? Your boss not not giving you enough props for the hard work that you give. That is that is very annoying, obviously. Yeah. If you work for someone really, really hard, but the person doesn't realize how hard you work, yeah. you know, that, that was the motivation for me to leave. Yeah. So in essence, do you think he did you a favor at the end of yeah, the day? Yeah, I, I believe it was, it was God's time. Like, uh, he would be upset for no reason, mm -hmm. you know? And they're like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be my own boss. Yes. And how is that working out for me? Tell it's, me more. I could never be more blessed. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, I love what I do. That's yeah. what's important. And the money comes as a bonus. That's like a bonus to me. If I don't have my money within a month, I don't care. I'm still gonna be shooting. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing what I want. Yeah. You know. So that's just beautiful. Wow. And what inspires your pictures? The moments that I capture. It's amazing. That's, that's your tagline, right? Gotcha. <laughs> it's it's amazing when 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 the, when the client looks at looks at the pictures and they they just they're astounded by the moments that I capture. That that just sums it up for me. Mm -hmm. And where do you see this photography career in the next couple of years? International. International. I don't I don't only want to shoot for Ghana. I want to shoot worldwide and um, open up a franchise, capture franchise, where you can go in and take decent pictures for your family, friends, events, weddings, everything. I mean, just have stores upon stores, several places in Accra, wherever, South Africa, the world. What's your favorite thing to capture? Well, my favorite thing to capture is um, happy moments. I'm, 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 that, I mean, I'm, I'm that kind of guy, I'm a happy person. So I like, those moments attract me. Like an, uh, <laughs> an example is when I'm shooting a wedding and a bride is not happy just because a bouquet like is late or the car, you know, the, the car service that she rented, yeah. They, they wouldn't bring the correct car here. Just, it's going to ruin all of the pictures because she's upset about this little thing. And it just, it ruins everything. Imagine taking a picture of a bride that has a sad face. I actually yeah. have proof of that picture. And I'd have to ask permission from the client <laughs> to show it though. But um, yeah, I like to capture happy moments. When that moment comes where she's sad, it, it puts me down. And that made me realize that I'm that kind of person that wants to shoot good things. Yeah. yeah. And so in the past, what kind of things have you shot before? Well, when you say in the past, to be honest with you, I've no, I'm not, I don't even believe I'm fully experienced yet. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me, a better question would be, what do I like shooting the most? Mm -hmm. It will be events, because events, they, they cut across vast categories, and yeah. weddings, engagements, parties, especially parties, I love, because mm -hmm. a lot of good moments happen at parties. Mm -hmm. Hugs, handshakes, smiles, you know, all these kind of things. And mm -hmm. that's the kind of events that I like to do. You like sound to. like you're very detailed in the kind of shots that you're looking yeah. for, mm -hmm. and everything that you now, can you tell me with um, regards to taking pictures? Now, I can take pictures on my own. I have my cameras. You know, some people even go as far as investing in their own um, big professional cameras. Mm -hmm. So, how is it that you get people to come to you? I get people come to me well by by showing what I can do. Really, I I've not advertised at all. If well, there's there's actually an uh, um, an ad on Choice FM only because I, I sponsor their photography, um, so they in turn 
put my stuff on air. But what I'm trying to say is I don't advertise. My pictures advertise for themselves, yeah. Yeah. you know? People, I mean, on Facebook, for instance, I have, I have a lot of publicity there. Mm -hmm. I have my website. So um, that's how I get the jobs. I just leave it be. A friend, a friend will recommend. And then, I, and then I get new clients from that friend, and it keeps going that way. Word of mouth is the fastest way to advertise. Mm -hmm. And I just, I have good friends. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think what is also so special about what you're doing, too, is that you are employing people to work with Capture. So I got a chance to speak to one of your employees, and let's just take a look at what he had to say to Barack. Hello, beautiful people of Ghana. Uh, my name is Steven Morris Mensa. Uh, I work here at Capture. I'm Barack's assistant. Um, it's been a very, very wonderful experience working here with Barack. Uh, I've been working here for like five months now, and it's very, very exciting. And trust me, I get to go to lots of events, all kinds of events. I get to see celebrities, all kinds of things, and it's been very, very awesome because um, I'm doing what I like. I'm following my passion. I'm doing what I really, really, really like, and it's been very, very exciting. And to all the young people out there, if there's anything you really want to do, just follow your heart. Just make sure it's something you have the passion for and then you really want to do it. So just take that bold step. Be bold. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to Barack El Mahmoud. He has actually been a very, very wonderful person to me. And when I came here at first, I never knew it was going to be this easy. But through Barack, he, he has helped me develop my skill. And now everything, is, everything seems so easy and everything is just working out good as I planned. And so I really want to say thank you, thank you to him for, for accepting me that easy and for bringing me this far. Thank you so much. Alright now, that, I mean, the fact that you're able to impact people's lives, that alone is also helping the economy, like helping you know, give people jobs and things to do. And this gentleman talks about how you help him and you train him. And so wh what do you have to say to that? I have to say that um, it's only the beginning. <laughs> it's <laughs> only the beginning. I mean, this to me is, is nothing. I want to do much more than this, help so many more people. And maybe, and maybe by God's grace, by five or 10 years, if things do go well, I might open a training school. Mm -hmm. Though I've not been to university, I would obviously see to it that I mean, proper placements are done yeah. to have a to have a training school. I mean, because I'm I'm going through that problem right now. The best place I could go is South Africa, to go and study photography, good enough. Yeah. You know, so that's a struggle right now. Yeah.